What is up, besties? And welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's reading, I wanted to do something a little more lighthearted. Um, well, <laughs> for me, anyway. So, we are going to be taking a look at multiple personality disorder, dissociative identity disorder. And if you guys don't know what that is, just a quick summary. Um, from my understanding, from psychology as well, um, usually this happens when, like, you're in your younger years and you have like significant abuse the brain kind of separates itself and creates identities or hosts to kind of support the abuse victim so i want to start off by saying that if you know someone with this or if you are watching this video and you have it please um, have someone maybe watch it ahead of time so that this doesn't trigger anybody because while I do want to understand it from a spiritual perspective, that in no way negates the fact that this is a very real, I don't like to call it disorder, but call it what you will. It's a very real thing that trauma has created as a defense mechanism to help people. And I'm not downplaying the severity of this disorder. I simply want to see from a spiritual perspective, how the mind can create identities. Is it multiple consciousnesses? Like, is it like, if all of us was in one body? Is it like the fragmentation card in Dark Mirror Oracle, where it's like maybe it's our past lives popping up, maybe it's our spirit guides, I don't know. So I'm very curious to see. I have my own kind of ideas and theories as to what it could be, but that's why I'm recording this ahead of time so that my biases will not be shown on my face <laughs> so that by the time we get into the reading, we'll both be surprised. So this is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only. As always, thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. It's a free and easy way to support my page. And if you're new here, thank you for being here. We just hit 7K. It's been a wild experience and I love you all so much. I love reading the comments. I recognize a lot of your handles by now. It feels so good to know you all, my clients, I even recognize your handles. So I just so grateful for this community that we've created. So basically in today's video, the main goal here is to be able to understand it from a spiritual perspective so that hopefully, you know, whether this stumbles upon people who have family members that have it, or maybe this can just spread light awareness to the situation so that maybe we can empower people that go through this, or maybe they can just have a better understanding in a different way other than the 3D psychological perspective, if that makes sense. So that maybe we could bring some peace, some clarity to either family members that have to watch their family members go through it or whatever. So that's my intention with this video. Um, please understand that this is not to negate by any means the severity of a disorder like that. I simply want to help us understand what they're going through. So basically, if you are new here, what's up to my besties? Hey, my regulars. Love you guys so, so, so much. Um, if you are new here, what we usually do in the beginning is a general collective message from spirit that is timeless. You do not have to be spiritual. All you have to do is go, do I think this is for me? Check in with your intuition. If you feel the need to kind of maybe watch, check it out. If not, go right down ahead to the timestamps. And before we get into the general message, I have to do a quick shout out because... My besties are the best. I have the best besties, for real. This is why I call y'all besties. So I got a gift from Tiana, and I love these, by the way. This is my favorite part of the Amazon gift. I'm about to bring that up in a second. But anyway, she wrote, To Karmic, a.k.a. Mindy. Hey, that's me, a.k.a. Bestie. I know this path, uh, yeah. I know this past month has been horrific for you. Yes, it has. Thank you. <laughs> Um, doing my best. You are always in my thoughts and you will overcome. You are a light this fucked up world so desperately needs from Tiana. Tiana, thank you so much. I truly value and support, or I truly appreciate your support and I appreciate all y'all so much. And she got the Clarifying Love Situations Oracle deck, which I fully intend to use for my client reading. So if you're looking to book a love reading, this will now be used because this is a very unique, interesting deck. If you guys are interested in checking it out, just remind me in the comment section and I'll find it and put a link. Um, but yeah, so covered that. Thank you so much, Tiana. I truly appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me. You have no idea. This is how sappy I am, though, because what y'all are missing is that while y'all sending me these beautiful gifts, which I appreciate so much, I am actually saving up all of the thank you notes that y'all gave me because I have this goal that 
when I have a shit ton, I'm gonna make a poster board and just hang up all of them. Like, I, look at all of these thank you gift things. Like, look, the, so please, if you think about sending me an Amazon gift, please write something because I love to keep these. This is like my, what is it called? My, my bread and butter, what is it? This is the part that means the most to me. I'm a sap and I love sappy shit. I love memories. I've had a lot of death in my life. Obviously you guys came around during one of the bigger ones. Um, and so, you know, we need to cherish our memories and stuff like that. And I very much value you guys. So anyway, without further ado, besties, we are now gonna move on to the collective general timeless message. So again, this is just something that your spirit team passed on loved ones, universal energetic alignment, playing out to get you a message from me to you. So if you're interested, stick around for that. But if not, we're going to get into the what is DID, what is MPD from a spiritual perspective, all legend and for entertainment purposes only. If you want to book a private reading with me, currently there's a wait list, which you can email me to be put on. But if you're seeing this in the future, thekarmicdf.com. So without further ado, all legend and for entertainment purposes only besties, let's get into the collective message or wherever I see you, let's get into it. All right, besties. So if you guys stuck around for the collective message, then this message is for you. As always, this is alleged and it's general. So take what resonates. Do not let the rest take away from you. This is also the dark side skeleton tarot deck that I'll be using today. Uh, some of the besties have already bought this deck. I told y'all this deck is amazing. We have 20% off in the description box under new rare decks. Go ahead and check it out. They have rare decks. They have regular decks and you could get 20% off courtesy of your bestie. Because who's the best bestie, right? So, all right. Spirit team, what? All of a sudden, I just heard uh, John Legend um, take it slow. And then I heard we're just ordinary people. Okay. Uh, he has the nine of swords. Pops out. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of you have been hit. Uh, if you're seeing this when I post it, the eclipse season. But if not, I think a lot of you have been kind of reevaluating. Yeah, I'm hearing the song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I think, And look at how messy this deck is. But it's also like... I feel drawn to be slow with it. So I feel like Spirit's kind of asking, yeah, because I'm hearing the song, When Will You Realize Vienna Waits For You. I feel like right now, your what you think is, how do I word this, Spirit? What you think is a block is actually a wish come true. So let's say, like, you know, you're trying to date again. And right now, all these emotions are coming up. And it's like, why am I thinking about my ex from five years ago? I thought I was over that. That's your subconscious mind going, heard you loud and clear. We need to heal from this first. And so that's why this X is coming up because there is a fragmented part of us that is still in the past. So even though our society is like gung-ho on, don't think about your X, that's you falling backwards. It's actually you pulling parts of yourself back from the past and into the present. So when we think about X's, a piece of us, like a splinter, is stuck in the past. And so whatever's coming up for you right now, I know it's hard. I feel I see a lot of you like crying and struggling and you might be going through because it's reminded me of the stages of grief. I see a lot of you crying, angry. Maybe you're flipping out, punching shit. Don't hurt anybody, but, you know, just channel it in the right way. I'm being drawn to music and movies. Maybe some of you would benefit from like channeling anger and sadness through song. Even if you're not a good singer, just sing in your own room. It's not that big a deal, you know, um, or, you know, maybe if we're dealing with childhood trauma, we got to be healing those wounds. Then maybe watching movies from our childhood or watching a movie like Encanto when they talk about the dynamics of families not being healthy. So depending on what is coming up for you specifically, what I'm hearing is the only way out is through. So we need to be leaning into those emotions that we're feeling, kind of like turn the noise off. I just heard from someone's spirit team, get off the phone. <laughs> I just heard that clear as day. Get off the phone. You're not going to get your answers from doom scrolling on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. You have to get more comfortable being in your own energy and learning your own feelings and needs. Because I see a lot of you just going out and you're like, I want to help people. I want to be there for people. But then like, you, it, it's reminding me of the Kim Kardashian thing that as much as I'm not a huge fan, I love this quote from her. She flipped out in like one episode. I didn't watch it. I just know the quote where she was like, I'm so tired of always being on. When the fuck do I get a day off? Why do I always have to be there for everybody else? But no one's ever there for me. Why can't I have an off day? And I think a lot of you are kind of leaning into where, you know, maybe your parents kind of couldn't be what you needed. And so you settled for being needed over being loved. And so that's played out in your relationships and your friendships. And now you're evaluating like, 
Well, what is it? Yeah, I'm hearing Michael Jackson. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Yeah, I think a lot of you are doing some soul searching. I'm also being drawn to the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. So if you're feeling any, uh, to my ladies, if you have any, you know, pms -y symptoms, sorry for the men that are here. Um, but if you're feeling anything going on, like right in the, right here, solar plexus and the sacral, I think you're, what I'm seeing is they're being moved to remove old timeline so that you can step into where you want to head next. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, five of wands. I don't want this conflict no more. Queen of cups in reverse. My energy. Five of pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. yeah. It's like I'm psychic. <laughs> okay. So we have the nine of swords, five of wands reverse, queen of cups in reverse. I think a lot of you are going, yeah, I'm hearing the song, something is wrong here. I don't belong here. And I'm hearing the song creep. Um, Hold on, sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I think a lot of you take what resonates. Don't let the rest take away from you. But I think there's some of you where like maybe you've grown up in poverty, but in your mind, it's like I want to be rich and famous, but not like from an ego perspective, from like a, I have a voice to share. I have something I'm passionate about, something I want to do. I feel like a lot of you were put into an environment that is basically the polar opposite is you so that you could learn what you didn't want. It's giving me lose myself to find myself energy. And so I think maybe in the early stages of your life, whether that's your parents or that's early relationships, friendships, I think you dealt with a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting. It's almost giving me like, I feel like you guys are the more sensitive types, more empathic. Remember, take what resonates. And it's just like, I don't, I don't move like y'all do. It's reminding me of Avatar where it's like, I see you. It's like, you guys crave depth, you crave emotional, you know, reciprocity, you crave people to see you. And so spirits like heard you loud and clear, bestie, we're going to remove these people, places, situations and things that don't serve nor see you. And so right now it kind of feels like a cocoon stage for a lot of you where like things are falling apart and maybe you feel like you're in a void. Maybe you're like, I don't even know where to go from here. I feel apathetic. I'm seeing the four cups in my mind's eye. But what you're actually doing with the Queen of Cups in reverse is you're pulling your energy back from time, places, experiences, things, and you're bringing it back to yourself. It's really reminding me of like, um, I don't know if you guys are going to, it depends how spiritual you are, so bear with me here. But it gives me like, we're calling back fragmented parts of our soul, which is probably why I'm being drawn back to the solar plexus. It's like, what you're not seeing is that you're doing a U-Haul of things that don't serve you. So like, I, I just see a lot of you being like really angry or sad or like, why are these emotions coming out of nowhere? I don't even understand. Like I woke up this morning and I'm cranky. I woke up this morning and I'm sad. I woke up this morning and I want to verbally altercate with people. You know what I mean? Like it's giving me that. What you're missing is that this is the key to you releasing things that don't serve you. So spirit's kind of asking you to lean into what it is that like, like I feel like you're dealing with like anxiety or, and stuff like that. So who are we, you know, who's living in our mind rent free right now? Because that's the key to getting you out. So like if we're hung up on an X, we're, we keep thinking back, right? Like, oh, you never gave to me. You never gave to me. What you're learning is you're pulling your energy back and going, that's not fair. I don't want that. That's not good enough for me. And so I deserve better. Checkmate. Learn the lesson. And now I'm seeing the world car in my mind's eye. So it's like you're wrapping up cycles because nine of swords, we're reflecting. We got all that anxiety. It's like, oh my God, we're in our bed thinking about the worst case scenario. Ten of swords. We're done. We're done with that cycle. We're burnt out. We're fed up. Enough is enough. So right now you being in the nine of swords energy with the five of wands reverse, it's like that inner conflict of self is being brought to the surface for you to finally take heed of so that you can understand maybe where your part is to play in maybe not getting the relationships that you want. Because listen, as someone who was a born people pleaser, um, I still had a part to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want narcissistic people in my life, but I also didn't know boundaries, didn't know how to speak up for myself, didn't know how to say no, didn't know how to... I'm being drawn to like, I think a lot of you would be like, well, I understand, like, I get it. You're going through this or you have this childhood wound and that but they don't have that same level of empathy and sympathy and understanding for you. And so whoever and whatever is coming up to the forefront of your mind, it's because you're leveling up and it can't come with you. It's reminding me of 
I, I heard about it, but I haven't seen it. There's like a video where they give an example of trauma and how it will come up because it can't be, it can't come with you. So it's like an ice cube in a cup. You pour the water in and then the ice cube rises to the top because it can't come up. So whatever this trauma is, whatever this old paradigm is, you might have unintentionally manifested it or you intentionally did, but in the pain is where you're going to have the breakthrough. In the feeling of the negative emotions is where you're going to find yourself. Because with Five of Pentacles in the reverse on the back of the deck, yeah. Five of Pentacles on the back of the deck with Queen of Pentacles right under it, you're pulling your energy back. Yep, strength card. You're pulling your energy back, you're knowing your worth, and you're charging accordingly. Step up or step the fuck out is kind of the vibe here. I think a lot of people saw your kindness as weakness or as something to kind of manipulate because they... A lot of people tend to see, you know, emotional maturity as like innocence and naivety, uh, but they got you wrong, bestie. And so now you're taking your energy back to yourself and you're going enough is enough and you're choosing you. And so long as you keep leaning into these uncomfortable feelings, you're releasing it to make way for the new. So if we're thinking about exes that treated us like crap, chances are you're getting into an alignment where you're bringing in a partner that won't make you feel like crap. If you're thinking about parents and how they've done you wrong, chances are you're wrapping up a cycle so that when you move forward, you don't bring those wounds and triggers with you is really the main message. So lean into whatever you're feeling because as you let it out, it will no longer be a part of your energetic makeup, your DNA. You are literally releasing generational trauma, karma, whatever you want to call it to make way for a version of you, Queen of Pentacles with the strength card where it's like, I know my worth. I charge accordingly. I'm going to stay on my throne. And if you can meet me here, great. But I'm done jumping out of the water to meet you in the shallow end. You can come to my depth now. And I'm going to be a match to the people that are actually in alignment for me. And I'm going to stop settling for people that refuse to see me and that pick and that like that Tom and Jerry cat and mouse bullshit and that like the drama and the theatrics, but they don't know how to really love. You guys are craving love and connection. I think the connections you've had in the past were probably surface level because they couldn't meet you where you were at, but it was meant to help you learn how valuable you, you were because everybody was seeing it but you. And so in this next chapter, you're going to finally see it with that Queen of Pentacles. So lean into the sad emotions because Spirit is saying, so long as you lean into it and feel your feelings, give it a good cry, watch a movie, do what you got to do to get it out, you're going to be feeling lighter in the upcoming, t um, whenever you see this. Like, I don't know, Spirit, you got a time frame for how long this might take? It's dependent on how well, you lean into it. If you feel it a little bit and then you run away from it, then you're looking at like a few months. Like I could see six months if you run away from it a lot. But if you lean into it, I could see this being a few weeks to a month. So just honor your feelings. If you're having a day where, you know, it's a Thursday and you're like, all I want to do is lay in bed, then do that. Call out, do what you got to do. Right now, your priority is you. You come first and then anybody else, they can wait. Right now is about you. Only you, just you. And then that is going to help build the framework of a strong sense of self, strong boundaries, strong confidence. And then you'll be a magnet to healthy people. That's exactly what you've been trying to manifest, whether intentionally or not. It's coming in. But in order for that to come in, the past has got to be released. So we have to honor it by feeling it and releasing it. So I'm going to leave it here, besties. Let me know if this resonated in the comment section down below. I know that resonated for me personally. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you want to book a private reading, karmicdf.com. Right now, it's the waiting list. Y'all know this. Yeah. But without further ado, besties, let's get into it. What is DID? What is MPD from a spiritual perspective? All alleged, all meant to just shed light and be respectful. Let's get into it, besties. All right, besties. So we're just going to dive right in. As always, thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. It's a free and easy way to support my page. And if you're new here, smash that subscribe button, bestie, because oh, we have so much planned content already. I cannot wait to see what next year unfolds. But as always, a reminder, if you have MPD or something, please maybe have a friend watch this first so that no one gets triggered because my goal here is just to kind of shed light on something that I don't think we fully understand and I don't want anyone to get, you know, overwhelmed. So the goal here is just to kind of help make sense of it. So all legend and for entertainment purposes only. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the karmicdf.com. I'm not currently taking anybody, but you can enter the wait list through the email in the description box. Okay. What is DID, Spirit Team? 
Well, yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay, this is more of a story, but interesting. So two and four, this always reminds me of the fourth house, four of wands, so home and family. So this is, you know, how it usually comes to be, right? You have like bad parental figures. You go through some sort of traumatizing situation. That's kind of what this card represents um, of a failure in terms of like parenting or, you know, SA, stuff like that. That's what that card represents by itself, pretty matter of fact. Um, Triumph of Lies in the Reverse Spirit. Why that one? It's almost, I almost wonder if it's like your spirit team and passed on loved ones like hopping in to help you. It's, you know what it's reminding me of? You know how there's wrestling and it's like, tap me in? That's kind of the vibe here. It's like whoever, whatever tried to manipulate you someone on your on the other side pops in to fight for you which we kind of know that in terms of the personality aspect so i kind of want to dive a little bit deeper here triumph of lies though that's interesting i think there's also this belief that comes in obviously with trauma where you feel like you can't go on because i'm i'm hearing titanic my heart will go on and i'm being drawn to how it's like the facade is breaking. So it's like my, I don't feel like I'm strong enough anymore. And so with this revenge card in the reverse, it's like, I feel like I can't fight for myself. And then it's almost like something steps in to fight for you. I want to pull a couple more. Yeah. This would be like your protectors, spirit teams. I don't, I'm kind of shocked. No fragmentation yet. Session. It feels like souls step in to join forces to help you because your soul doesn't believe that it can go on. That's that's kind of how it feels. It's like the child is far too young. It can't conceptualize what's going on. And so it's like that soul can't handle it anymore. And so it's like, I don't know necessarily the who yet, maybe with the tarot, but it's like, other souls, beings step in to fight for you with that queen of my own world. It's like, oh, you're going to take... It almost feels like, um, if you believe in this, it almost feels kind of like soul tribe or like guardian angels, if you're into that, ancestors, stuff like that. It's like, we're watching what's happening to you. You're You're losing yourself. And so we're stepping in to help you fight your battles because you don't feel like you could do it all. Because in, I'm like, they're drawing me to the head, but in the head, what I'm seeing is a bunch of people standing in the head. So I do feel like this is multiple consciousness. What is what is the plural of consciousness? Consciousness is? Consciousness, I? I don't know. But, but with that, it's, I do believe that there are multiple souls in the mind when that happens. I don't actually, I was wondering, that's why I didn't mention the fragmentation card right away. I don't believe you're, I don't believe that you fragment. I don't, I mean, like that's how we're gonna see it from a 3D perspective, I'm not negating that. But from a 5D perspective, what I'm seeing is souls stepping in to join that soul. That's what this feels like. Cause three reminds me of expansion and Jupiter, but it also reminds me of the three of pentacles and coming together. So it's like, you can't do it alone. We're coming in to help. That's kind of the vibe. Envious gluttony on the back. It's like you're you're starting to fall apart because of the nastiness that other people are doing. And it's becoming too much. Because notice how this is kind of turning into a full moon. So it's like the emotions are just too strong. And it's like the darkness of whatever's happening to you is making you kind of... I'm hearing the word decrepit. I don't know what that means. I'm going to be honest. I think, well, do I? Decrepit. I feel like I know that word, but I can't right now. Channel no brain. But it's like, because someone's leeching onto you in some sort of fucked up way, other souls are coming in to assist you in that. I feel a need to, yeah, see what I mean? It's like, you're starting to be a shell of yourself because the darkness is taking over because of somebody else's toxicity and abuse. Yeah, look at how is this me is kind of, peeking out so it's like you're losing yourself so other souls step in to kind of help you so that's what i'm seeing so far but let's get into the tarot 
All right, besties. So we're going to take a look at the cards. As always, thank you to everybody that says the 30 seconds of ads. It's a pretty easy way to support my page. If you're new here, bestie, smash that subscribe button. We cover everything, baby. It ain't just pop culture. It's true crime. It's conspiracy. It's the whole ditty shit. It's mental health. All of it. We, we cover all the all the stuffsies. So come join us. We have a good time over here. I love how this deck is just so messy. That's interesting. Also, if you could see my hands are red as shit. I dyed my hair, so my apologies. I'm a, you know, I've been dyeing my hair for like two decades. And one thing I'll never learn is how not to be messy. But anyway, DID, Spirit Team, what's going on? Five of Wands in the reverse. You can't handle conflict anymore. Temperance. Time to start over. And this also reminds me of like an angel. Remember I was saying guardian angels? So with the temperance card kind of looking like there's an angel on it. Mm. The hangman in reverse. It's like there's no other way forward. There's no other way out. And so something has to step in. It's like my body, my nervous system, my brain, it literally cannot handle this level of trauma anymore. And so something has to step in because otherwise it's almost like it's an avoidance of the, <laughs> okay, I know people are that are really into science are going to come at me. First of all, I went to college for science, so bear with me here. I know this sounds nuts, but it's almost like the brain is almost about to fragment, and so something steps in. So obviously, like, from a 3D perspective, it's going to look like it, it fragments, right, because we come up with multiple personalities, but what I'm seeing is, what is it? Oh, spirit, say it again. Divine intervention, where it's like being step in to help that soul. Because if the hangman was upright, then it's like, this kind of reminds me of like taking your life and that type of stuff. So it's almost like, because the hangman in the reverse, especially when we do the crime stuff, it reminds me of like martyrdom. So it's like you're heading in a really dark direction. We need to protect you. That's kind of the vibe. Yeah, the devil in reverse. One thing that I will say, like, I don't know how um, these personalities or identities operate, but I would say that 99.9 .9 repeating percent of the time, the souls that step in mean no harm. They're protectors. With that devil card in the reverse, I don't think that there's any evil entity stepping in. It feels very much the opposite. It's kind of reminding me of a, a channel download I got about, like, what happens when we black out, but we can still drive home. And it's... It's like your spirit team steps in. So I feel that there's like your your passed on loved ones or whatever. People you've worked with and if you don't believe in reincarnation, this one's going to be hard. I'm sorry. But it's like people, beings that you've worked with in other lives are stepping in to help you deal with the intensity of the darkness that you're facing so that you don't have to do it alone. Six of Cups. Yeah, what did I just say? We're talking about this. This this is a card about soulmates. It's It's, again, like love people from past lives if you're into that. So if we're talking about, it feels like loved ones stepping in. But I don't think that, that like on a 3D perspective, you would know that. Like this would be, you have, um, you have someone on your spirit team that had a past life with you 500 years ago. They knew that something traumatizing was going to happen. And it's almost like, yeah, I'm seeing Power Rangers where they put their hands in. It's like, we're going to do this all together. So it's like, I almost wonder if the original soul is maybe a little bit younger than the other identities that come in, because it kind of gives me this vibe of like, we have to protect. And it's reminding me of Aries energy. And that's the beginning of the astrology. So it's like, I almost wonder if the soul that comes in is more of a newer soul, the original soul that, that, um, that set out this lifetime. And it's like, I almost wonder if in the lifetime they're meant to learn what darkness looks like but it's like i'm being zoomed out i don't know how to describe this other than if you've seen doctor who it's on my i'm i linked a bunch of related videos in my description box that are similar to this it's reminding me of the what happens after we die where it's like you can look and see it's like you're kind of in you're in this reality but you're not it's giving dementia it's giving alzheimer's it's like you got one foot in one foot out because it was always meant to play out as something traumatizing because you're a newer soul. And so you're you're either a newer soul or like you've never understood darkness before. Like maybe it's a soul that 
has never had any incarnations in Earth, or maybe it, it hasn't lived in a time where people were so, you know, narcissistic tendencies are at an all time high because of social media and all that. So it's like this the original soul that came down knew that it was going to experience some level of darkness. And so it's like it's a team effort. That's the vibe. It's like an 11 11 on my clock when I said that. It's a team effort. The entire, it's like you have a soul tribe on the other side that steps in that kind of pre agreed to this. This is wild. Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse because you don't feel like you're in your power anymore. But then also there's something here about like, because Wands, I think of energy and alchemy. So it's like being step in to become the protector. Because I know there's some where it's like, I'm, I'm the protector identity and then I'm the child identity. But I think it's it's more like, they're all different souls coming together to make that other soul feel safe. Does that make sense? So it kind of piggybacks energetically with like Alzheimer's and dementia. It's like whoever the original host is, they're not meant to, in this lifetime, fully live it just because of the trauma that they're experiencing. Um, and it's it's a team effort. That's the only way I know how to describe it. They're showing me like so many symbols to get me to get it. Like I'm seeing a scene from, I don't even remember which movie it was, where like two kids got on top of each other to get in this long jacket to pass off as an adult. Like that's the vibe. It's like we all agreed to come into this vehicle that's the body because we knew this was going to happen. I think sometimes there's a little bit of free will where it's like, will you get through it? And then it's like, if you don't, that's when we step in because there's free will involved. So it's like if the child that's going through the tra the trauma or whatever, if they can like almost like dissociate enough to get through it, sometimes that's how this doesn't happen. Cause I, I see some people that could have ended up having MPD, but it's like through their trauma, they escaped in the higher realm. So like think, you know, you're living in your head, you're living in fantasy. I think that has saved a lot of people from having to end up with DID, not to give anyone any fear, because it, it happens in like, what, the first five years of your life, like super young. Yeah, you, you have it by now, you're good. Um, plus, I wouldn't set up my readings like that. But there's just something here where it's like, in those pivotal years of your life, there's a chance it's giving again, I'm being right back drawn to wrestling where it's like, I see you getting your ass whooped, and my hands right here. And I'm going, Put me in coach. I'm ready to play. That's what I just heard. So it's like, we're watching you. We got your back. We knew that this was going to be a really dark and dismal lifetime. And if you can't get through it, we're coming in to work with you. That's the vibe. Was this upright or reverse? I think it was reverse. Honestly, it doesn't matter anyway. But uh, six of pentacles. Yeah, this is like alchemy. It's like your soul calls in. I don't I don't think consciously obviously you're a child but it's like your soul calls in it's giving me like I can't I just keep seeing all these res wrestling references where it's like he's on the mat and he's like tapping like let me go let me go I can't do it anymore so it's like your soul says whether consciously or not at that age I can't do it and so other beings step in to protect you that's the vibe it's like you ever just I mean, as someone who now knows that that she's a psychic medium, I didn't understand it back in the day, but a lot of times like I'd be alone and I would like talk to myself a lot and I would feel like I'd answer myself and it, I would just have a lot of fun alone and looking back, I was talking to my spirit team. So it's kind of giving me that same energy where it's like, they're all in your head. You're all together working this out at the same time. Ten of Wands, yeah, it's like you can't take the burden anymore. You can't take the stress. You can't take the pain. The, the oh my God, the child's nervous system is, it's almost like, uh, it's like a, it's like a pressure cooker. It doesn't always have to happen. Like, I don't, mm, I think there are some souls where it's like, this could be a way that we will go. So just in case we're right here. But I think this is just kind of like from the other side, if it's too much, we step in. Because look, I mean, this person's literally walking through a door on the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, we usually see someone carrying stuff. They're walking through the door. It's giving me put me in coach. So it's like these other like entities, I guess, are here to help you navigate through life. But in that lifetime, it's like 
you're not meant to be there for all of it because had they not have tapped in to begin with, you wouldn't have survived it. Does that make sense? So it's like they come in because they want you to survive. This is so woo-woo. Knight of Pentacles. But even on this Knight of Pentacles, it looks more like the Knight of Swords. I'm coming to help. So it's like we're, we're going to help you rebuild. And if we have to rebuild with multiple identities, that's fine as long as we make sure that we are assisting in this soul's development, the host. I think that's what they call it right the host nine of wands walking on eggshells this is going back to like the childhood and stuff like that and the things you had to see and deal with yeah three of swords can't deal with the heartbreak and again a child being that young they don't understand they can't conceptualize trauma when when you're a, a baby a child you don't understand the darkness of the world you know what i mean so it's like this this seems very matter of fact the emperor because of someone that's abusing their power over you Souls step in to help the other soul's growth because they can't take it anymore. I want to know who these souls are, Spirit. Like, how does, how, how do we get from, like, the fragmentation to other souls stepping in? Like, who, who are the other souls? Like, how does that work? Two of swords. Again, look at the imagery. Where it's like it's on the other side of the veil. I feel like they're souls that you've been with in past lives so if you don't believe in reincarnation this video is just not gonna you're not gonna like it um but it's like souls from past lives stepping in because it's like the two of swords i'm stuck Ooh. eight of pentacles it's not working all this imagery with like i'm glad i picked this deck nine of swords yeah, look at how in this Nine of Swords, remember, Nine of Swords is all about, like, anxiety. I can't take it. They're usually on the bed, and they're overwhelmed. But with this Nine of Swords, it's like I'm getting directions from somebody. So, again, this feels like it's passed on loved ones, but you wouldn't know them because they're from, like, other lifetimes. And it's like we agreed upon this. In the, it, you know what it, me, it reminds me of is like a fail safe. In the event of such and such, do this. Like that's the vibe. In the event that this lifetime I can't handle the intensity of the trauma in my early years, I need you guys to tap in and help me. That's the vibe. This is the only way I know how to describe it. Um, Spirit, is there anything else that like would help shed light on what happens? Justice in the reverse. Yeah, that makes sense. Queen of Swords. It's it's designed to help you defend yourself. So it is a it's a it's to protect the original host soul. It's like we it's like we have specific souls that's like I can handle this. I can handle this. So I'm the protector. I'm gonna take care of this. Or I don't know how to ch tap into my childlike essence anymore. So I'm gonna have a childlike soul that helps me learn because it's like i'm i'm the host right i'm the original soul but now i'm being pushed back and i don't know i know there are some people that don't know what's going on like they black out and then they come back but what i'm seeing is like from a soul perspective whether they know this consciously or not i'm watching and i'm taking notes with that book there so it's like i'm watching how the other souls are moving in my vehicle to help me survive and i'm taking notes so that in the next time that I reincarnate or, you know, whatever you believe in, I can handle this better. I can understand it better because the original soul, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it can't conceptualize trauma, abuse, negativity. The original host soul doesn't understand that. I wouldn't be shocked if a lot of the people are, you know, considered sensitives, empaths, clairsentient, stuff like that, because it's like the soul that started this journey it's almost like it came in to learn about the darkness because all it understands is the light. It gives me new soul. It gives, I just keep being drawn to like spring, Aries, new. So it's like the soul doesn't fully understand. And that's why it's kind of like a team effort. Because it's like I'm, I'm learning from you. I'm in the body, but it's almost like a vehicle. I mean, that's technically how it works anyway. But it's like I'm looking through the eyes, but I'm not here. I'm watching you guys do it. It's all, it's giving virtual reality. I don't know how else to describe it other than virtual reality. That's how it feels. It's like I'm watching other people play my character and I'm taking notes so that next time around I can figure this out better. Or 
on the other side, there are other people that I know sometimes they'll get back control where it's like the host will then be the main um, identity because they'll take their power back. So again, it's like the soul's taking notes and then it's learning how to empower itself from an unfair situation. So sometimes I feel like the host can then get back in front because it's like the other souls were helping the soul empower itself. I hope this is making sense. And I'm having weird deja vu right now. That's so bizarre. If you're into deja vu, I don't know why, but I feel the need to mention it. Lexi the Leo did a reading on what deja vu was, and it was super cool. If you guys want me to do a reading on something similar, let me know. Um, didn't I do a reading on what happens when you walk through doors? I'm pretty sure, but I just don't remember what I called it. It's in the woo-woo. It's It'll be, you know. Anyway. Okay, four of swords. Yeah, this is like... In this deck specifically, and I've mentioned this in other readings, look at how it almost, it reminds me of like Avatar, what's like sinking in. I feel like the original soul is more of a soft, a sensitive soul. And so it's like, you're going to protect me. Think of it like this, the, uh, I can't talk in this energy because it feels very like high vibrational. <clears throat> but imagine like the body was, because it's reminding me of one of those sci-fi shows I watch where the body goes in the tree to preserve it. That's the vibe. It's like, I'm preserving you until you feel safe enough to come out. It may not even be in this lifetime, so you might need to take it in steps. Because I don't know why, but I'm being drawn to, um, what's his name? Orlando Brown. So I don't know if he has it. It's possible. Because I keep being drawn to Orlando Brown. Maybe that's what he's going through. If you guys want me to do a reading on him, let me know. Because I'm definitely curious about what's going on with that dude. But um, with the Four of Swords, it's like... I don't feel safe here. Like, think of the Four of Swords, right? We're resting. We're chilling. On um, on my empath deck, there's a dude chilling on the tree, and he's just living his best life. But on the reverse, it's like, I don't feel safe here on Earth. I don't feel safe in my environment. I can't ground. I feel dissociative. And so, again, it's like other souls step in to protect you while you either learn what darkness looks like in this lifetime, and then you go on to live a different lifetime without having that or they're there to help empower you until they can kind of pass off the baton and you feel safe enough to kind of be the main host but I don't feel this as a fragmentation of the mind I feel this as a fail safe so that the mind doesn't fragment I, again not 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 the world being upside down and wrong per usual allegedly per my opinion um, but this feels like a fail safe so that the soul doesn't fragment I don't actually believe that the soul fragments. I feel like souls step in to help. I feel like the soul might have been fragmenting at the time for sure, but it feels like other pre... It's like you know these souls. You do know these souls. So if you were actually the person that's experiencing it, even though I'm sure it's terrifying, I'm not downplaying that, but it's like when you leave this lifetime, you'll be like, oh my God, that's Sid from last from 1700 and oh my god that was my dad back in 1347 and oh my, i had no idea what's up guys like that's the vibe so these these souls that are coming in they're they're in support of the original person and their goal is to help you empower yourself and if you can't empower yourself this lifetime then it's to help you learn so that in another lifetime you can better understand the darkness. It's very much giving me duality. I think these are very sensitive souls that it happens to so that it can learn to kind of create its own armor is the vibe. Back deck. <laughs> New beginning. Of course they give me the extra card as the back deck energy. I can't even... Look at how difficult these cards are being. The moon in reverse. Okay. The fool starting anew. And then the Celestial Weaver. That's a new card. This card, this deck has 80. So hold up. I'm just going to show you this. Look at this. Power, manifestation, interconnectedness. A power card for you today. Weave the fabric of your reality through your thoughts, intentions, and actions. It's like you realize that in this energy you can't do it anymore with the moon card in reverse. It's like I'm seeing things for what they are. This is too overwhelming. I need a new beginning. I can't do it anymore. Celestial Weaver, I am manifesting other souls to help me get through this. Yeah, because even on the thing, it says be mindful of your thoughts and intentions as they are what shall create the tapestry of your life. So if we're talking about how this comes to be, it's like you manifest the souls into your being to help you solidify yourself in this 3D reality. Yeah, because it's like weave love, kindness, and harmony into the world around you. It's like you're not seeing any love, world, harmony, 
any of that. And so it's like they come in to help you handle it. I think you have like identities where there's someone who's, this is kind of giving me like you had a, a lifetime where it was like, I don't back when we scavenged like scavengers and hunting and stuff like that and and one person was like the leader of the it's giving me wolf pack like wolf pack leader it's reminding me of um oh my god that drunk movie the hangover thank you spirit <laughs> where it's like but did you die like that's kind of the vibe it's like your your people step in to help you face this reality that's the vibe yeah five of cups is grief can't handle it because the moon card reverse right so we see what things really are Page of Wands, you're a child. Ace of Cups, no love is being given to you. You're depleted. Your energy, your life force is dying. And so it's like the only way through is to kind of use, to manipulate um, reality, basically. It's like, this reminds me of a portal. And it's like other souls are coming through the portal to step into the child to help the child. I think... The souls are there just to help. I don't think they want to do any damage, any harm. It's simply protector. And these are souls that that person has worked with in prior lifetimes. So there's a familiarity there. Whether they understand in this life, probably not. But it's almost like when they pass over, it's like, oh, my God, that's Henry from accounting. Like, that's kind of the vibe. So I don't think that whatever these souls are, I don't think they're dangerous. It feels very soul tribe, very faded. Um, I feel like these are newer sensitive souls and it's either like you're sensitive, you can't handle it. So you're going to kind of play in the background, think virtual reality where you take notes so that in the next form of reincarnation, you can do it alone or we're here to help you until you learn to empower yourself. Because it reminds me of like, I go through a lot of phases where I research a lot of stuff because that's just who I am. I like to learn. Um, and it's reminded me of how some people with MPD that have YouTube channels, they learned how to take control so that the host is mostly in control. It's like so that's the end goal for a lot of this. It's like we want to help you get back in control of your own life so that we can play backseat drivers. But we're here. It's like your your events are too traumatic. So we have to be in the vehicle with you, a.k.a. your body. But if you learn how to take back your power, we will play in the back seat because the whole goal was to empower you to begin with. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, besties. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought down in the comments because I'd love to cover more stuff like that. That's kind of actually what I expected, if I'm being honest. I wasn't sure if it was like the soul fragmenting and turning into new forms of consciousness, but no, this feels like soul tribe already... It's given me, put me in coach. It's given, I know you're about to go through some shit. I'm right here in case you need me. And then it's like the higher self in the event that it can't handle it. It taps those other souls in so that it can try to gain control back. That's kind of the vibe here. So I'm going to leave it there, besties. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Because if these videos don't do well... I'll probably still do them, to be honest with you, because I'm very curious. But I would like them to do well. I like people to be into this type of stuff. So let me know what you guys thought. Maybe we'll cover narcissism and other stuff. I've seen those comments as well. So I'm going to leave it here, besties. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, thekarmicdf.com for any readings. But I'm going to leave it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Stay